down, look all around. Up in the air or on the ground. Come for a walk, come for a ride. There's so much to see, so come outside. We've got eight legs. They're long and very thin. Our bodies can be hairy. Please don't think of us as scary. What are we? We're spiders. This won't do. I must get on. Hello, me dears. I'm giving Pippin a bath today. <laughs> she hates having a bath. Oh, a spider. Come and see, Pippin. Pippin, look. I expect he's climbed in there to drink some water. The trouble is... Once they climb into the bath, they can't get out again. It's too slippery. Let's give him a helping hand. Hmm. Come along. How many legs has this spider got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Every spider has eight legs. Unless he's lost one in an accident. <laughs> then they can grow another one. Isn't that clever? Come and look, Pippin. You remind me of little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet, she sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Down came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Down came a spider. I wonder how he hung in the air like that. Will you show us? Look, he quickly spins a thread with his spinnerets. The silky thread's coming out of his body. Can you see the loop it makes? The spider's holding on with two of his legs. Spiders can spin as much silky thread as they need and they use it to make a web. The thread is sticky, so when an insect lands on it, it gets stuck. The spider
spider catches it and wraps it up in the sticky thread. And later on, he'll eat it. Off you go, spider. It's good to have spiders in the house. They catch the flies. Mind you, I'm glad they're only small. Bath time! <coughs> I know someone who's got some very big spiders. Pippin can have her bath later. Pippin! It's time to fly! Peter's house. Hello. Hello, Peter. Hello, Auntie. I've brought Pippin to see your spiders. Hello, Pippin. Could we see a nice big spider, please? I've got a nice big one right here. You keep very still, Pippin. How lovely. What's it called? This is a red knee tarantula. Red neat tarantula. Mm -hmm. ah. I like to call this one Lily, though. Hello, Lily. Would I find a spider as big as Lily in my bath? Oh, no. This, uh, this one comes all the way from Mexico. All the way from Mexico. She's got very hairy legs. Yep, she's got hairy legs so that she can feel where she's going at night. Oh. And, uh, and she even uses the hairs to taste. They taste with their feet. Oh. What does Lily eat? Lily normally eats small insects such as crickets, locusts, that sort of thing. Oh. Does Lily make a web? Sometimes she spins a web. Mm. Usually it's to line the inside of their burrow mm. to wrap their eggs in. There's a web. That's right, that's one of the tarantulas which has babies at the moment. How lovely, could we see them? How many babies in there? You don't know. There's about ten <laughs> babies in here now. What a lot of babies. One day, all these babies will be as big and as beautiful as their mother. Spiders, spiders, big and small. I like spiders best of all. Spiders' eggs are tiny, see? All the little wiggly spiderlings are hatching. At one day, old, oh, they spin a web. Along comes a meal and they catch him. Spiders, spiders, big and small. I like spiders best of all. Watch this spider dig a hole. Put a door upon the top and it'll hide her. Along comes and then whoops, he's gone. He's caught by the trapdoor spider. Spiders, spiders, big and small. I like spiders best of all. Spiders spinning every day, making silky threads that just go on forever. They build their webs in different 
shapes The spiders are all so clever Spiders, spiders, big and small I like spiders best of all Right, now Pippin, it really is time for your bath. She loves this bit. <laughs> oh, look! Another spider. You're not scared of it anymore, are you, Pippin? Not now she knows all about spiders. And so do you.